So, are you ready? Well, hello. Hi. What we've made, what we've made this time, Stas? Oh my! What is that? You just get what you ordered. Holy moly. I didn't make it up, you ordered this. It is so huge. But this one is for the next video. Let's go and have a look at our... There it is. What is that? It's the cooling system. <laughs> It works well, by the way. It was hitting without it. Aren't you a jack of all trades? And a genius after all this, god damn it. I wasn't well, by the way. We're going to show you a brand new self-made e-bike. Made of parts you can find in any garage. A worn motorcycle front fork, old bicycle frame, a moped wheel, and motor parts from Audi, and a few sheets of metal. Is it working? Just try it. It is noisy, yes, but I think it suits it. It is crazy. And it looks fierce. Let me film it. It is on sale, by the way. There is a cost. Holy moly, there is a real tin can. How you made it suit perfectly. I have managed to weld it somehow here. And there is an old Nescafe can here. And I used the can lid of a surfacer and a hairdryer motor. And finally, Stas's beast has some brakes. From a scooter? Yeah, the factory brakes. Honda Dio, Suzuki. All the original. It is a factory issue. Some fans were asking how you did attach the sprocket to a starter. I just used some nice welding here, that's it. The scheme is connected well. And that's the main one. There it is. Yeah. And there's a simple switcher here, right? And all control with this throttle. This scheme is simple. Just turn the throttle and it will go with max speed. I thought we were gonna have an electric pedal or something. Oh, come on, stop talking nonsense. What, <laughs> what kind of click was that? Uh, that's... Uh, was it the pump? Yeah. There's a magnet. It sounded like some contact welding. Do you want to try it, Sasha? Right there. Just step on the brake lever at once. Maybe outside. Just a second. It is just crazy, isn't it? It is nuts, I'm scared. Hey, why there's a sprocket here? It is not the front wheel, actually, and the absorbers are from center. Actually, this time I am eager to ride this crazy thing. Stop! Can I ride home on it? It is accelerating smoothly. The accumulator is... Do the brakes work? Stas, I love this bike, really. It is your best invention because it has brakes. <laughs> Let's get back for a while. Maybe it needs some charging. Not really, this battery isn't good. I told you before, we just can take some car's battery. Mine? Yeah, mine is bad. A beautiful battery. Oh my! Have you heard that? Do it again. Oh my gosh! This battery is okay. That is going to be awesome. Works perfectly. Like a clock. Can I ride it? But first we need some real road, not here. Let's go. We'll go with the max speed. With the car? First let's leave the village. Alright, we'll be there by car. Let's go to the village border to test it. Well, it's time for a favorite speed test, guys. And we're going to measure that bike speed using the Jiggly speedometer. I already stars. I heard some weird noises. That's okay. Holy nightmare. Smells alright. So, are you ready? Go, stars. Let's go. Damn it, he's faster than us. Not bad. Look at it. What's the speed now? Oh my gosh, it's 60! As you see, this moped goes 60 km per hour, guys! It's even more now! 63! We can't keep up with him! It's 70! 80! Oh my gosh! Going up the hill now! 80! 
How? Stars 80. That can't be. I mean it, I filmed that. You're lying, that can't be true. That's hard. How? Hey, is he telling the truth? He means it, it was 80 km per hour. First it was 70, then I accelerated, and so he did. Jeez. I felt that that was really fast, but I didn't have time to realize it. Is the motor okay? The motor is heated, sure. A little? Yeah, but I was going without cooling. That was a speed! Was it shaking hard? Scary? No, this one is really stable, I didn't feel the bad road. So it's going cool? Sure thing, so the absorbers work well. I guess so. Oh my, he's jumping so softly, front and back. That's because the central band is a crankshaft, actually. Holy moly! I made calculations, double suspension absorbers sounds perfect for these roads. Let's do it again on the way back. Way back! That's a beast! I made something good this time, I'm shocked. And I didn't expect this thing based on Audi starter. I think Stas has calculated everything this time. This scheme is calculated to the detail. Have you seen that chain? The number of chain leaks is calculated too. It's perfect. Yeah, they fit perfectly. If it wouldn't be so, the speed would be much worse. Look how stably it goes! Wow! It doesn't shake! That is what I call speed! The brakes are rapid! Oh my, these are brakes! Brakes are just perfect! It's an aircraft! Holy moly, I'm astonished with its power. I rode it three times, but I didn't expect this. Yeah, it is it a couple of days ago. I did use it. How was that? I didn't go that fast, because that time I didn't have brakes. Scary. I wish to see the temperature. The motor is heated, yes? Sure thing. Next time we're gonna provide it with 24 instead of 12. We can do that. It's heating already. I don't need any chips. Two wires and we go. The scheme is very simple, guys. The motor is cooled, let's continue. The bike frame is the base. Then a rear balancer was welded to it, which was made of two balancers. From a familiar chainsaw moped and a random moped. And this bike steering went to Crimea once, you may remember it. The starter is from Germany, it is 1.5 kilowatts. It says Bosch from Audi. Do you hear that sound? <laughs> it's nuclear! The brake is sensitive, very sensitive. It is extremely rapid and easy to use. And the sound of a rocket is just amazing. It really makes my day. Let's go! Go, go, go! That's a beast! I like how it goes, it's very stable and goes smoothly. And there's no shaking like on a trash bike or something. It goes nice and fast. That's it for today. What do you want us to do next? Self-made experiments or both? Or Chernobyl? Subscribe, like the video and wait for the next to come. Meanwhile, we are back to work.